Yes, ICT bias does not work. Instead, I'm going to show you a different way in order to get the daily bias and the weekly bias, which is more important. You will be able to identify when the market is ready for the move and what to expect for the upcoming week. Every day, you probably go to the markets, open the daily chart and try to understand what is my bias for today. Now, how ICT taught us to understand that is what is the bigger context? What is the story that we are building in our head? This will always keep us skeptical because we do not have any data to back it up. Now, sometimes you get the daily bias right. Even though you get it right, you still lose money. And sometimes you get it totally wrong. For me, it was easier to get it totally wrong than to know the daily bias and still lose money. But why does this happen? It actually happens because we do not have enough confidence in the bias that we chose. But why don't we have enough confidence? It's because we don't have enough data to back up this bias that we got. So what do I mean by data? This is what I'm going to show you in this video. First of all, it is never one data that we rely on. We need at least three data in order to tell us if we are going to go higher or lower, which is the main part of trading to know where are we going to go. You either sell or buy. That's it. That's all we have to do. Now, having those three data by our side will let us go to the market and trade with confidence. What are those three data? First, I will explain the three data and then I'm going to give you an example of how to use it in real time with real charts. So number one, imagine that you have an indicator. And when I say indicator, everybody is like, oh, we do not use indicator. That's because of ICT. But uh, indicator is just making you see data more easily in front of you instead of going and counting it yourself. So imagine that you have an indicator that is showing you what the price have done in the past 10, 20, 30 years and giving you an average to show you what will happen in this month compared to the past 30 years. If you wanted to calculate that, you would never be able to. And that's why we have the seasonal. When the seasonal is showing us a bullish move and you expect a bullish move, this is extra confidence. Data number two, let me give you two scenarios. You are trading JPP USD. You go to technical, you go to the daily chart, you open the daily chart, and based on your experience, based on your technical knowledge, you see that we are bearish. And you trade based on that. Now imagine scenario B. You are also trading JPP USD. You go to the technicals and you see that we are bearish. You open your indicator, the data one we spoke about, and we see that we expect a bearish move during this week and during this month. The second one we're talking about is what are the big players in the markets doing and you see that they are also bearish and you see that the retailers which are always wrong they are very bullish so we have this data in our hands but we don't use it because we don't want to use indicators but this is free data that is worth millions we put this into an indicator and then we can see that it's also showing us a bearish move so now our experience is telling us that we are bearish. Seasonal is telling that we are bearish. And the COT data is telling us that we are bearish. We can still add one more data. Number three, the valuation model, which was first invented by Larry Williams. This is not an oversold and overbought indicator. You are actually comparing price to another price. You are comparing, if you are trading currencies, you are comparing it to the most dominant currency, which is the dollar. And we cannot be overvalued or undervalued in relation to the dollar for a long period. While let's say if you are trading metals like palladium or copper or silver, then you will compare that to gold because what is the most dominant metal? It's gold. Again, data number three is also a tool in order to help you in your analysis. Let's see this scenario happening in the charts and what is the difference if you traded it without those data and with those data. Let's get into it. So this is AUD USD and I'm going to give this example for our analysis today. This is the weekly and we can see that here we have a weekly area which we will react from. The price comes here. We are in this area. Now, our job is to know if this area is going to hold or not. So based on the technical, we 
understand that now our bias should probably switch to bearish because it's an area that we saw a reaction from before this is the normal technical analysis nothing special so we will open our data this is AUD and I'm gonna show you the same exact location where we were anticipating the bearish move now we are doing it the opposite way we are looking at the chart and then we are going to the data but how I do it is I look at the data and then I look at the chart so this right here is the COT data which is number three the one that we spoke about we were extremely bullish as you can see we have never been this bullish the last time was here and look what a move we had again here we were very bullish look at the move we had so what do we expect since we come here we know that we have this area right here that we react from what do we expect we expect also a bearish move so this gives us more confidence in our bias second thing let's look at the valuation which we also mentioned this is blue line is the dollar we were here this is where we were expecting the move look where was the dollar it was very close to overvalued it was b a more probability to go to have a short than to go higher so this was also a sign on our side showing us that we will go down also we can see that the commercials were also bearish at this time okay as we can see and the seasonal was showing that we are going to have a big move downwards not at the same time that we were expecting but the seasonal is not exact it can be a little bit forward it does not give you the exact move now these and i do have a couple more that i use but we're going to show them in different video that gave us a conf the confidence that we're going to see aud go down from here and this is why all we had to do was short this from this area put the stop loss above and target this big consolidation right here risk two percent on this trade and you're good to go if you think this is very simple this is how it should be this is how trading should look like and this is how trading should be it should not be complicated we should not be thinking that there's a fair value gap pd array that we didn't see or i don't know some other stuff just data follow the rules be disciplined and simplicity now if you want access to the cot data how to start setting up your trade station a small course that i give weekly webinars access to me every single day join my free community on school it's limited time that it's gonna be free i have this as a founders club like the people who support me i want them to start with me for free take their opinion talk together so if you're interested i'm gonna leave the link in the bio it's gonna be free for the first hundred people and then we're gonna put the price up also if you enjoyed this video and found value i would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe so i would be able to keep giving you more content and value let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this and what would you like me to show you next see you in the community let's get you funded trading is simpler than you think it is